Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's talk about snacks attacking because it really rolls off the tongue. But first, let's tell a 10 word story. All right. Sometimes. I squeeze my pulpy polyp. <laughs> so I'll someday be that's existential. I squeeze you. Sometimes you, I squeeze my pulp so that some someday I'll be. Oh, is that no? It? Not pulpy olive, pulpy polyp. Oh, okay. Sorry. You thought sometimes I squeeze my pulp. We're talking about the polyp. polyp. Again? So someday, I mean, you kind of set me up when you put someday in there. I mean, well, there's nothing I can just. I mean, I can't end this sentence. This is a fill in the blank oh, yeah. for you guys. Sometimes I squeeze my pulpy polyp so I'll someday be. You put sometimes and someday. You had five I was, words to contribute to, to the Tim Word story, and two of them were sometimes yeah, and yeah, someday. Yeah. I'm a loser. What can I say? Oh, Carve your name in that man. thing. Link. Uh, so, Stevie, yeah. g give us a scenario. What's what's happening here? So, we're in al alternate snack scenario land. So, I'm going to give you a would you rather, and they're going to be snack-based, and they're going to be... Not true. You're gonna have to use your imagination. Not true. You're gonna have to dig deep um, okay. and let me know which one you would rather. Oh. For instance, would you rather live in a world where all beaches have had their sand replaced with Cheeto dust, oh. or all swimming pools are filled with ice cold blue Gatorade? Ice cold. Ice cold. See, that's the part I'm really fixing. So blue Gatorade, we're, we're, this is a sugarized version. Swimming in sugar water. To me, I'm worried about the environmental impact of Cheetos on the beach. I feel like the pool Gatorade can be contained, kind of like hog waste. But let's assume, let's, let, let's, let's throw that out. It's hard for me to do that. But yeah, there's a lot of beaches. You're saying if every, if, if every beach you got Cheeto sand, does, I mean, think about, think about, I mean, I think that, that's, but yeah, I, that's that's a, you know, that's a that's a downer way to look at it, right? To me, there's a oh lot of, crap. There's a lot of fun, and I mean, a lot of people don't go to the beach because they just don't like to to get sand all over them. But is it better if it's Cheeto dosed? Dosed. dosed. Wow, what kind of dose will it be? Because I mean, you could be you could lick yourself. You could lick other people. You know? Because um, there's that there's that thing about like oh put sunscreen on me. You know, if you're single and you're like, oh, put sunscreen on me, that's an opportunity. Hey, let's go to the beach so then I can ask you to lather some sunscreen all over me. That's an opportunity. You know, there's that thing. Uh, and now, put some sunscreen on me with thing. this, with this, the new thing could be, let's go to the beach so that you can lick Cheeto dust off me. When your wife puts sunscreen Before we get back in the car. On you, or you put sunscreen on your wife, I mean, you know, you've been married for 20 years. Yep, it can't, it can't just be like just a squirt and rub kind of situation. But you can also make it, you can make it something. You can make a moment out of a sunscreen. Thing. Yeah. You can, you can be like, hey, let's act like I don't know you for a second. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. You look like you might need some, some sunscreen. That's, fun. That's yeah, a fun right. role play. Yeah, yeah. I use an accent. I'm up for that. Yeah. Uh, what but kind of accent? Cheeto, I'm going for Cheeto dust for the reasons that I've stated. Excuse me, miss. You look like you need some sunscreen. You're going to burn. Would you like me to do it for you? I will. Or which are you choosing? And I already told you. Blue pools. Because of the environmental. I don't like to swim in an ice cold anything. That's another reason. Yeah, and you'd have to put, it would have to be chlorinated blue Gatorade. You can't even drink it. Yeah. You can't even drink it. But I got to say the only thing, not the only thing, but think about how annoying sand is. And think about how annoying Cheeto dust is. I know. It's a whole new level of annoying. Agreed. I would never go to the beach. It's a, it's a lot stickier. But you're not stickier. changing my mind. Okay. How about this one? Would you rather get caught in a stampede of giant bull-sized meatballs... Bull-sized? Bull-sized. Whoa. Or a volcanic eruption of room temperature mayonnaise. <laughs> okay. Room temp, that, that helps. 
How hot are the bulls? What is it? The first thing? Bull size meatballs. But I mean, I think that they're as hot as a bull. You, I mean, you could die. You could be trampled by the meatballs easily, but even mayonnaise moving at high speed is not gonna. It's not really gonna hurt. You think bulls have the same body well, temperature it hurt, as a human? It, it's not gonna kill you. I think bulls run a little hot. Why are you Why are you pointing that out? Because she said the meatballs would be the temperature of bulls. Oh, she did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you get hit, is it a loosely packed meatball? Because I think if you get if you get stampeded by a loosely packed meatball. I think you're gonna win. It's just gonna all over you. I don't think that might be something you pay for. One hundred one point five Fahrenheit. I so don't like believe close. you can you can swim in in mayo. It's too viscous, so you can't get any. So if you if, if if you get oh you're drowning. If you get head deep in mayo, it's it's over. That's it. Because you think a, like a big polyp of mayo is gonna come down from the volcano. It's gonna be fired out of it. I mean, someday. You can be buried. Someday. Which bird has the highest body temperature? I chose the mayonnaise. Is a question asked when I um, Googled the temperature. Well, I would say an ostrich. No, th I think you could get it. Really think about Yeah, hummingbird. Oh, yeah. They they move quick. They got they get hot. 105. Good gracious, this is degrees. a hot bird. I got to give it to you with the polyp thing. Like, when I, when I said polyp, when I heard myself say it, I did. I I didn't immediately make sense of it, but you were all over the colon screening. Well, I've been thinking about it personally. Been and thinking like, about getting a colonoscopy. I I recommend it just because. Well, so, so does the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that's kind of more my reasoning. I mean, recommended by best friends everywhere. <laughs> I I I just I like I like going into twilight. You like that state? Yeah. It was fun. I mean, when I came out of it, I was like. Where are my glasses? And I was wearing my glasses. Did you hear about the lawsuit that, uh, whatever the studio that made Twilight the series, there was a short-term lawsuit where they were suing the medical association for using the term Twilight to describe that state of anesthesia. Oh man, wouldn't that be great if it just sent you into that state of Twilight and you were like, Kristen. Mm, yeah. There's right. a camera in my butthole. I, <laughs> you you know what would be the greatest is if there was a colonoscopy scene in Twilight. <laughs> like I mean, and and like you could cut to that camera. It would have to be the werewolves. You could like you could get the internal shot of the werewolf. Yeah, because like, oh, werewolves got some you, polyps you too. You know, it's, vampires it's can't. It's a common problem. Can't get cancer, but I think a werewolf can. They get those diamonds. Diamond crusted buttholes. <laughs> that's the that's the vampire, not the. The thing world. I made up. Carney, Carney just said vampires have to be invited into a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Kristen. But, yeah, so you cut to the you just cut to the. You cut to the camera shot. That's great. That's great. Like, Would you, you rather realize all the angles? Live in a world where. I made up that thing about the lawsuit. Good. I thought you were talking about Twilight Sleep lawsuits, and I was like, can we not get into how horrible that is right now? But you weren't, so it's fine. Yeah, that, that's, that's something I don't want to talk about either. Would you rather live in a world where all flowers have become durian fruits, big and small, or all trees have become huge stalks of steamed broccoli, so most of nature now just smells like farts? Uh, this is, I mean. So the so only when it flowers does it stink like durian, or it just sure. constantly. Yeah, because I mean you've got I I don't broccoli doesn't stink unless you cook it, right? I did my last. So day. with climate change, I always it's wonder stink. if my last name is if I'm gonna misspell it every single time I right every time I write my name I'm like by the time so, you get to the end it's so strange you've lost is, concentration. I'm like I'm like M C laugh, L I N. That's how you spell my name. Yeah. You can't even see it on screen at once. Oh, you can, right there. Again, I can't help but worry about the environmental uh, impact here. I mean, we lose all flowers, society collapses, just like we lose all bees. But I have heard that wasps are ready to fill the gap. That is not the way to... I heard that recently, I, that okay. wasps are ready to step in and save humanity. I heard you say that you heard that, yeah. But I just don't think that's the way to analyze these because it's not fun. Oh, it's fun. It's just sad. I mean, it's like, oh yeah. Either way, you're destroying you're destroying ecosystems. I mean, the balance of nature. 
I mean, I was, when I was in fourth grade. I freaking did did a freaking uh, science project about this. I mean, it's nothing good? new to me. I I really like the idea of um, broccoli trees. I mean, it's I I can't really come. It it seems cool. It seems if it was just one forest, like if it was like a Fangorn situation, like I could go there and I could visit the broccoli forest. Now we could all agree that that's awesome. Um, but if all trees were that, I really love trees. Yeah, I but really think, love all types of trees. Think about the the smell of broccoli. It's it is truly awful, and but it really is. Only when you cook it. It's right. It's, she said. Well, I did broccoli. say huge stalks of steamed broccoli. Steamed broccoli. Oh, you did say steam. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, yeah, I've been thinking that the whole time, bro. Oh crap! Like and you, you can't even swim. climb a steamed broccoli because it's just going to fall apart. Well, I think these would be bigger. All right, I'm more. going with the durian because um, you can you can you can like that smell before you'll like a broccoli fart smell. You know what else is important that you know? You didn't choose. I, I said I'd rather have the durian. Oh, okay. um, this is the uh, we've been having this mythical end of summer sale. You knew about this, but if you didn't know about it, you need to know that today is the last day. The last day of the mythical end of summer sale. You can get thirty percent off. Select. <laughs> products, select products. What does that mean? I don't think you're Not supposed to emphasize them. that word. <laughs> Not all of them. Just, ones, that we've, the, ones that have been selected. Uh, the, the, the selected ones. All right, Mythical.com. Blow our minds again. Would you rather be caught in a tsunami of pixie stick dust or, oh, I guess that would be more, that wouldn't be, a, yeah, that would be a, a dust storm. Uh, or yep. caught in a tornado of Doritos. Oh, well, a Dorito, well. You know what you can know, happen to a pine needle in a tornado. It'll go right through right a through board. A, right through a, uh, a um, what are those poles right that hold up wires? Telephone pole. Yeah. We've all seen that image. Um, a Dorito will, I mean, it will. I, I think mean, either scenario is not. Great. I don't think you're jugular. living at the end. Yeah, of you're dead in both of these. of these scenarios. It's yeah. just what's going to be the more I think you painful might, death. Well, you, you got, a no, pixie long. Takes, I don't want it takes pixie, a to kill pixie you. long. Pixie long. I've had pixie long just with one pixie stick before. Yeah, you put and it in I the wrong was, I thought it was over. I thought it was over. Um, so I'd rather have a Dorito. You, you're you're kind of you're kind right of, to the brain. Yeah, but the Doritos. You know, you you might escape. Sometimes you, you might people get, get impaled. Hit, you know, you know. Sometimes a, somebody will get a javelin, like go right through their face, and they'll be, and they'll, and they'll like show up at the emergency room and be like, and they'll take it out and they'll be okay. So that surely yeah, a Dorito to a, the brain would be okay in some scenarios. Maybe it'll get rid of the parts you don't like. But can you can you hold your breath for the entire pixie storm? No. I can't. No, I'm going for the Doritos. I'm just going to get into a ball and protect my. I'm going to get into the tornado position for uh, the tornado. That's why it exists. Yeah, but the problem is with that, you might live through it. Oh. You might what? You, you might live through it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of the my objective. Would you rather Doritos. live in a world where the air tastes like pickles or your sweat is tuna fish water? The air tasting like pickles, I mean, I, you've been to a pickle factory? There's nothing. There's nothing to complain about here. I haven't been to a pickle factory. I'm just imagining what it would be like. I feel like there's a sting associated with that. I thought you'd been like to a, a pickle factory without me. I may have been to a pickle factory like as a kid. That's the kind of thing my parents would take us to do. We know Mount Olive was early nearby. on. Yeah. You know, you get you could get a Mount Olive pickle factory tour, but I have not done that. Uh, I bet you that's a a good tour. I think you would get used to it. Any smell, no matter the stink, you'll, y your brain just starts to say, okay, I'm not sending any more signals about this. I'm not, well, the nose sends the signal and then the brain says if it's important. It says it's not important. What's yeah. the other thing? I'm but choosing then would that. everything you ate be tainted by the smell of pickles? I don't think so. The other thing is tuna fish sweat. Tuna, tuna, tuna fish, fish water sweat. sweat. Is, I basically already have that. That's life changing. That's on. That's on you as a person. Only when you. Now, you're sweat. the only per walking around in a world where everybody's smelling pickles. Who cares? Yeah. Being the only I person think, with tuna sweat. I don't think it's the only person with tuna sweat. 
I, oh. I think everybody's has, got tuna sweat. Yeah, everyone has tuna sweat. Oh. Which you would think that you would then develop a deodorant that is anti tuna sweat. No, no, I deodorant. think you'd start I would liking that, you start liking tuna sweat. But when you sweat, when humans sweat, we do tend to stink already. But that's such and a we understand that. Yeah, but that's such a modern society thing. I mean, like for years and years and years, that stink was a good thing. Somebody had a good stink. I mean, it still happens in France, I think. Yeah, right. Europe's got that figured out, man. You get on, you get on one of those buses, and you're like, "Woo! I wish I had I, a pickle think, atmosphere right I now." I think that they like this. We need to pump some pickle into this. And bus. I think that's our problem. I think it's our problem. I think we've lost the good stink. I showered this morning, and I thought to myself, "I can't remember the last time I did this." Showered? Yeah, it was, it's been a few days. Did you? Did you have a good stink going on? Uh, I did dip in a pool a few times. That that can, that that's counts, a 60% right? shower. That counts. So I don't think I stunk that bad. Uh, pickle juice. Did you use soap in the pool? No, but I've thought about it. You can't do that. Can you do that? No. Mm. Ruins the pH. Time for the mythical end of summer sale. Take up to 30% off select items now through September 1st at mythical.com.